Okay, so right now I'm in um, Brasivo, which is a small uh, town, a small village, very high in the mountains. You can see some mountains there. And I just want to show you this memorial that probably has something to do with the communist or socialist past of this um, country. And I came here to do some very heavy hiking. And I want to reach that uh, area, which is like a fortress and then continue walking down uh, to show some cool things. Okay, so this is one church going to the fortress. Um, I think I can enter just moving the chain, but uh, it says that it's protected and maybe it's not like respectful to just do it. But anyway, this is the church and there is a cemetery there. Okay, I want to show you that this is the road of the fortress and you can see that this road has been kind of being damaged over time you can see some rocks falling and you can see that we are going to have like a spectacular view because look at that this in a previous video about Budva told them about this uh, I told you about this island which is called the Hawaii well we are going to see it from the top probably it's going to be very cool so here you can see um, Budva, the old town of Budva, the castle and everything. And there's another town called Bisisi, which is quite cool, very far, very close to Budva. And you can see here in the fortress, these are the areas for the Austro-Hungarian Empire used to use to um, put their guns in. So you can here see the plague from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This was their most south or the southest fortress from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And um, basically they were trying to uh, protect themselves against uh, Montenegro, which in that time their capital was Cetini. The road that I was taking from Budva here goes all the way here, 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 here to Cetini, which is going there. You can see this small village there. Very nice view. So yeah, it was for protecting against the Montenegrin in that time. Okay, so this is the fortress. The name is uh, Kosmak. And um, yeah, basically this is, it was part of a series of uh, fortress um, built by the uh, um, Austrian and then uh, later Austrian-Hungarian Empire and you can see um, in the previous video I tried to show you but the video didn't work properly but there is another fortress there that I went the last time so basically there was like a series of fortress trying to protect the recently created border between the Austro-Hungarian Empire and Montenegro and um, yeah it was like a net it was built in a very revolutionary way, which basically it, it's called something about um, canyons, canyon system or something like that. But this is the fortress and then there is another area with like around four or, or four or five different uh, small places full of ammo and the canyons just pointing to the... Um, to the border so the idea it was to protect just uh, just put everything in the line and it also had a lot of resources just to uh, resist uh, sieges and yeah the um, any any kind of it, it was never um, conquered never taken down by any insurgency so yeah it remained like this for a long time until until now okay so if this fortress was never conquered why it's in ruins? Well, it's very simple. The Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire, when the uh, First World War started and the advances started to come up, they realized that the location and the system that in that point was revolutionary, it wasn't working anymore. So they decided to literally blow up their own fortress and set it on fire possibly 
with the goal that nobody else will be able to use it. So it's kind of um, a little bit dangerous. Some rocks could uh, come off. There is no protection here. But definitely it's worth checking it out. Incredible. Okay, so do you see those rocks over there? All those rocks there. Those tiny villages. Well, this could be the first consumed local fortress or one of them. All the rocks were from here and all the people that built it were from this region. Look at the size of this thing. It's, it's really cool. Okay, right now I'm in a old road going from the um, fortress to that little place there. I don't remember the name is is Betty something. I will tell it later. But basically, is to remember that I was telling you about the first movie, Brad Pitt's movie. Well, it said there that's the place. Look, we're coming from there from Budva. It's an amazing road. It feels like you are in a Russian people four scenario or in a Lord of the Rings or something. It's it's cool. Okay, so just for you to see how far or how up um right now I am look it's basically clouds. Like I'm in the clouds thing. So scary. Okay, so this is the place that I'm going. It's called Sveti Stefan. I've been walking for two hours and I need to walk another two hours. And this is kind of like the road. Okay, so right now I'm um, like one hour from the place. Just want to show you the view right now. Like look at that beautiful, beautiful place. That's the Hawaii that we were talking before. Look the sunset, it looks really great. And I'm going to try to arrive to a monastery, but I don't know. It's too steep and I'm too tired, so I don't know if I will do it. Okay, so uh, I did arrive to the Rousseau Monastery. It's right there. Just look at the view again. It's just so amazing, the view. Great. Like, it looks almost like this, like in real life, kind of like that. And you can see here that there are some people working, some ladies. Very cool, I'm going to try to enter to the monastery, it's a Serbian Orthodox monastery, like many here. And let's see what happens. Just for showing you here, from here it looks way better the view. Very beautiful, looks like a small community, so I'll see if I can enter. Okay, this is the last monastery, the Pras Praskivica monastery. Um, yeah, it's also Serbian Orthodox. And I'm going to show you inside in the other video with the POV, with the other camera. Basically the name, it's come from a peach scent that uh, a water had in a nearby like uh, water spring. Um, so yeah, I'm going to enter and see how it is.